Hi everyone, and welcome to the introduction video of the TypeScript tutorial series by Salada. In this video, I will introduce TypeScript and the various tools that we will use throughout the series. Prerequisites. In this course, we, we will do a deep dive into TypeScript and go over a lot of its features. I would recommend you having at least a basic understanding of programming fundamentals like data types and functions. This course is not intended to teach you programming. Having said that, if you are a beginner developer of any kind, you should be able to follow along without any problems. A basic knowledge of HTML and JavaScript is nice to have, but not needed. Our agenda is as follows. We will first talk a little bit about TypeScript and what it is. Then, I will introduce you to the different tools that we will be working with, namely NPM, which is a package manager for Node.js. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Node.js, it is a cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment for executing JavaScript code on the server. We will be working inside of the terminal as well, mainly for compiling TypeScript into JavaScript, but I will show you some relevant terminal commands too. And finally, we will be writing our code inside of the Visual Studio Code Editor, which ships with the Emmet plugin. Emmet is a plugin that improves your workflow when working with HTML and CSS. We will also be installing the Live Server plugin, which will automatically refresh our browser whenever we make changes. Now, I should mention that this is optional, and if you have your own favorite editor, please feel free to use that. All right, let's get started. So a quick introduction to TypeScript. TypeScript is an open source programming language developed by Microsoft and made public in 2012. It's a superset of JavaScript, which basically means that TypeScript inherits JavaScript functionality and adds features like interfaces. Microsoft came up with TypeScript in response to JavaScript that in their opinion wasn't suitable for large scale applications. Now this was before ECMAScript 2015 came out. TypeScript is mainly used in developing JavaScript apps for client and server-side execution, and it compiles down to JavaScript using the TypeScript compiler. So what makes TypeScript special and, above all, different from JavaScript? Well, for one thing, it has type annotation, which basically gives you the option of assigning types to variables and functions, hence its name, TypeScript. Some basic types include booleans, numbers, strings, arrays, tuples, and others. TypeScript has interfaces, which is a way to build data types with preset internal structures. You can essentially think of this as a predefined object model. TypeScript has classes. Before ECMAScript 2015 came along, the only way to mimic classes in JavaScript was to use prototypes, which was pretty confusing and overloaded. TypeScript was built with ES6 in mind and uses its standards. So in this series, we will go through everything in detail. But if, but in case you want like quick reference or just learn more about TypeScript, please visit www.typescriptlang.org. All right, that's it for our slides. Let's jump into installing our tools. <laughs> 